Hey everybody, welcome back to Lemmings World Tour. We're continuing with the Diva rank today. And as you might have guessed, we're going to have a slightly different upload schedule from now on because I'm starting a new Let's Play. So this is now going to be uploaded Tuesdays and Thursdays instead of Tuesdays and Fridays. So just small little heads up. Anyhow, we have completed five levels of the Diva rank and I'm just super excited to start the next five because the first five were really great. We're on level 6, Diggas in Paris, by Kanye West. Oh man, I've, I actually saw this one from one of the previews of the pack, and it looks really good. We're going to France, everybody! And that's a nice-looking Eiffel Tower. So, 40 lemons, we can kill one of them. Something tells me we're going to use a stoner here. Or, potentially, a digger. Let's see... Alright, well, we're going to have to cut the fall somehow. All right, well, we're going to need, like, the diggers for that part, most likely. Basher for there. This level seems to be pretty straightforward to me. Actually, no. We're going to save the climber. We want to save the climber. Because we want them all to be on the ground. Alright. Alright. So we, when he walks nine pixels forward, that's where we're going to dig next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, so that's the second one. However, we still want to climb up a bit higher than that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a new one. So you can walk a bit farther. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Oh, actually, wait a second. What am I doing? It's way easier than I was thinking. We don't have to dig for the entire top, just these two different blocks. What a wuss I am. Oh, I'll also crank up the release rate. You can go to the exit. Yeah! Alright. Let's dig the rest of this away. Okay, this is this is a really simple level. I was like, overcomplicating it, as I tend to do. I'm known for two things. Backrooting levels and overcomplicating the levels. And the two aren't mutually exclusive. I oftentimes backroot levels because I massively overcomplicated them. And, like, getting the original solution, the intended solution, would have been a lot easier. Alright. And just like this... Oh, hang on. I'm gonna hold off on sending that second climber, actually. Beautiful level. In the city of love. Except we don't want him to climb up and not go to the exit as well, so... Oh, actually, we can save the builder because we put that uh, stoner there. Very simple level, holy cow. Is... okay. Because... because we're in the fourth rank now, is that a back route? Because we had a lot of skills left. I don't know. That seemed like a really, really simple level. So I'll leave Strato to comment on that at his leisure. But let's continue on. We're on level 7. Born this way. Baby, I was born this way. And clearly the, lem the lemmings on this level are going to be born to be freaking amazing. It looks like they're going to have 
swimming, gliding, climbing, and floating capabilities? Wait, how is that possible? Or maybe it's like four hatches, and then you get some of each type. Anyhow, this is by Lady Gaga. We gotta save all 40. Okay, yeah, so it goes swimmer, then glider, then floater, then climber. Okay. So let's see, the gliders and the swimmers can go that way just fine. And then... Floaters can go this way just fine. Oh, this is like that tree level we saw earlier, isn't it? Oh, interesting. The gliders are going this way. Floaters are also going this way. How about the climbers, though? So one thing we could do... We could stack there to let all the climbers go to the exit. Let's hold off, though. Okay, so only the swimmers go to the left. Everybody else goes to the right. So the swimmers, after that first bridge is done, boom, they're good. Uh, floaters are going to want to build up this way so they can float to the ground. And I believe gliders are going to hit that and then run into the ball down there, which is not a good thing. However, oh no, we can't we, we can't build over that. The hitbox is massive. All right, so we we have to build that way. We got to build. Hmm. So here's my thing. We. Alright, so all swimmers are going that way. Glider's gonna meet his doom. So if we stack here, everyone's gonna turn around, which means the floaters are going to die. Which is not good. How do we siphon through some of these guys? We can trap both the floaters and the climbers down there. That's an idea. So the gliders will go over there, but the floaters and climbers will be down there, and if we put a blocker up here, the climbers won't be able to get out until we walk them. So that's a good idea. That's potentially a good idea. We can bash through the stack. Oh, except if the floaters get stuck down there, we can't get them out. Hmm. We can potentially trap the climbers down there, though. How do we turn the gliders, but not the floaters? What's their director, their trajectory? If we, if, no, they've got a steeper incline than the builder does, so they won't be able to hit a builder bridge and turn around. Okay, when they glide, how far down do they go? Okay, so what we actually could do is we could float and block at the bottom, and all the gliders will turn around and go into the exit. And all the floaters will go down, and we can walk the floater, and because they're facing to the right, they'll go to the exit. So that's definitely an option. The question is, after that... Oh, another thing we could do is we could stack to turn them all around. I like that idea. I like that idea quite a bit. Oh. 
Now the question is, can we get a floater over there in time? The answer is likely not. Oh wait, we don't need a floater, we can stack. Okay, so Climber goes down there, that's perfectly fine. So all swimmers will go that way. The problem is gonna... And the climbers are also gonna go that way, because they... Well, the first one climber will go that way. Okay. Do that. So we got floater, we got glider. Cool. So they're all going the right way. That guy's a climber. So probably what we're gonna need to do is... Build up here, and then... Because we still got a basher, so if we do this, and then... This is a tough level, but I'm finally starting to suss it out a bit. So if we make a swimmer a blocker here, he'll turn all of the climbers around. All of the floaters and gliders will go over here. So now at this point, everyone is trapped in. The climbers can all go to their exit. So now the real question is, we can walk this guy and he'll go to the exit. However, we'll still have a bunch of swimmers and gliders and floaters, and we need to make sure all of the swimmers go this way and all the floaters go that way. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that. Alright. Because we have a basher, we can bash for that. I wonder if we could max out the release rate early, and if that would be a good idea. Okay, not the best idea. That's a pretty... well... Then we'll have this guy... Little, maybe? No, that guy has to do his thing. So we gotta make him the stacker. Because we can't put the stacker here, because the climbers will just go right over it. Hmm, this is a tough level. This is a very tricky level. Oh, we can also use the basher for the gliders there, and then we'll save the stacker that way. Ooh, I like that idea. So if we do that... All the gliders and floaters can go that way, and they'll be fine. It's just a case of the climbers. Climbers are going to have to t turn around, or at least that guy's going to have to turn around from being down in the pit. We 
which means we're going to have to use the blocker to turn him around. Or the walker. Or we could use the walker, but if we use that walker there, we can't really use the blocker in any meaningful way. Because we have to save everybody. Otherwise, all the climbers up in that way. If only there was a way to get the climbers up there, but to still have everyone else continue on this way. We could build and block, potentially, but, hmm. Hmm. This is a tricky level. Make no mistake about that. I wonder. Can we make this not be splat height? <laughs> That would take, like, two builders. So I'm gonna say probably not. I'm gonna say that's almost certainly not going to happen. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and there's no way of building up there, because we only need two builders to get across and one to get across there. Unless... No, because then the swimmers are going to ruin our mojo. This is the point where I'm wondering. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, climber's there. That's not good. If we can just time that a little bit better. So if we do that, can we get all of the swimmers out and facing to the left? Swimmer, 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 swimmer. There's a climber in there somewhere. Yeah, the climber's in there. Okay. But we've got the swimmers all in a row. Now the question is, can we keep it that way? Okay, I think we can. I think this will work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say no. We're not gonna do the basher gonna use the blue replay editor, keep doing what we're doing, and now we're going to stack there. Okay. So at this point, they're gonna come back, our last climber will climb up. Now we've got our posse of gliders, so they're gonna bash, and then all the gliders and floaters will go that way, and then we can walk, and all the swimmers who are, happen to be all in a row will go that way. Okay, I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of timing-based puzzles like that. Maybe I didn't do it right, but if that was the intended solution, I'm gonna say I was not a huge fan of that level, just because it was like, oh, hope you time the release rate just right so that they're all in the right place. Have fun!
I mean, it all worked out in the end, and it wasn't super difficult, but figuring it out based around the fact that it was a timing-based puzzle is tricky. But that was definitely worthy of the D.Va rank, considering this is rank 4. Level 8. Oh boy. Dragolistia Dinti by Ozone. I apologize for butchering that title. It's another nice looking remastered tree level with a lot of pickup skills. Is that the Belgium flag? Maybe? I'm not sure. Two lemmings. Oh, only two, and we gotta save both of them. <laughs> Maya he, Maya who? Okay. Oh! We have no skills, so this is. <laughs> I've made a level where you have all of the skills you need to get or pick up skills. Oh, I see where this is going, I think. It's like what one lemming picks up, the other lemming has to use. If so, that's pretty clever. Okay, cool. We got our uh, builder. We got our climber. Cool. That's tight timing. This is a really cool themed level, for sure. But at the same time, it, it seems kind of automated, because it's like, well, pick up one skill, there's literally only one place to use it, basically. Maybe now it's going to pick up a bit. So let's see, he can turn around and get the digger. A blocker? Interesting. Okay. So I'm guess... Oh, there's a second exit. Oh wait, that's the only exit. Duh! Okay. Oh, this will be very simple for the rest of it then. Because we can use the digger to get through there and then just bash into the digger tunnel. And then they'll both go to the exit. And since we have two bashers, we can literally just... Okay, well this is a very simple level. I really like it, but holy cow, this is... The thing with using levels with a ton of pickup skills is the pickup skills can kind of give away the solution a bit. And that was definitely the case for that level. The title means Love Under the Lime Tree, just FYI. Good to know. Yeah! Love that rock victory theme. That was a fun level, but also very easy for the Diva rank, especially when you compare it to the last level. Now we're on level 9, so I won't hold you back by Toto. Alright, 20 lemmings, gotta save all 20. Ooh, sports level. Pretty simple looking sports level as well. But I mean, that doesn't mean a Dane Fane, because it ain't got that swing. So I'm right right off the bat, I'm seeing probably Glide hit the, hit the um, dart turnaround. Seems like a good plan, perhaps? Gotta get to that flag. And everyone's penned in it. Well, those guys are penned in. This guy, not so much. Alright, so working backwards. If we go do what I think we have to do and do that. If we make them an athlete, they'll climb over to that. I believe they will glide past the exit, too, which is actually ideal. They can platform across there. Build there. And then... Wait... Wait, it, it's this easy? I f I'm feeling a little cheated here on the demo levels a little bit. <laughs> if, if it's as simple as I think it is. It might not be. Oh, wait. I don't have a builder. Okay, well, that'll make it a little trickier. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I'm like... That what a chip! <laughs> I, f I misread that as having a builder, not the other way around. Okay. Okay, so holding these lemmings in is actually going to be a bit tricky then. Because they're all going to want to go.
kill themselves, which is not a good thing. If you think killing yourself is a good thing, you need to rethink your priorities, but let me tell you. We can stack them all inside, in which case, if we choose to do that, we need to reevaluate our priorities. So we could let them out this way, but that means they'll walk off the cliff unless we can seal them in. And if we use the stacker, we're out of luck. did glide over that successfully. I really like the idea of gliding into the dark to turn around. Okay, well, first off, if we platform across here... Okay, we don't turn around. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. Wait a second, hang on, I'm... I'm <laughs> getting a plan in action. This might be another timing-based puzzle. So I'm thinking... Bash through here. Okay, now. Let, let me go forward. Bash through here. Make this guy a glider. How much of time can we buy? Alright, that guy's coming back means we'll make him a climber at the start. Oh, actually, that might not be a good idea. Wait a second. Oh, it's not st stupid timing based at all. I don't think it is. Oh my gosh, this is... It's, it's literally probably just as simple as I thought it might be. It's just I got carried away with my... Or actually, wait, hang on. I forgot about these, this last obstacle. Because we're gonna need a way to get for that, but we have a stacker and we have a stack and one of these in the way. Every time I think I've solved it, nope, another roadblock comes up. So what's the advantage of sending a glider this way? We can platform there. I really like that idea. I really like that idea. Oh man, two lemmings fall. The grass wivers and the flower fades. We need to save our fencer as well, which is not good. What if we were to do something else? For example, what's the climber used for? Because if we go for this route, we don't need the climber. Except perhaps to hold them. What if we do something like this? Will this hold enough lemmings back? Especially if we do then something like this. 
No, not enough. If we fence up through there, that's a one-way fence, I just realized. Okay. Verb, I know what we're gonna do today. Haha, -ha, okay, okay. This is gonna work. This is gonna work. Because now we've got the stacker free. And we can stack right here. And now we can use our basher to bash out. Okay, so it was as simple. I got it almost exactly right on my first attempt. I just wasn't thinking. Okay, that was a really fun level. Very nicely done. And actually, now that I think about it, a bit on the easy side for this difficulty. But then again, maybe this difficulty is not supposed to be super hard. Maybe this is supposed to be not a very hard pack in the long run. At least until we get to the, uh, uh, the final, like, official difficulty rank. Oh boy. So we've, we've, we've been going for like a half hour now, but I really want to knock this out with one final level. I like the five levels, every video thing we've got going on. We're on level 10, Umbrella by Rihanna. Rihanna? Rihanna. Yeah, duh. That's how you, I forgot how that's, that's how you spell Rihanna. Wait, that's how you spell Rihanna, right? Well, if I'm wrong, then let me know how uncultured I am in the comments below. All right, 20, got to save all 20. I'm guessing a floater's going to be involved. Okay, a glider's going to be involved. Oh, hey, the Ono soundtrack is back. We haven't heard this since the uh, newbie rank. Not the newbie rank. What's it called? The Noisemaker rank. Newbie is the subweb's original difficulty. Okay. Well, that's splat height. How much... That's very splat height. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Wait. 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 Okay. Okay, well, we lost one lemming too many, but, I mean... Honestly, besides that, we're not doing too... F we're not too far off, because then we can just build over that. So if we can find a way to... Oh, and then we can bash that guy out. Huh. Let's send the glider first. Maybe... Mm, we don't have a climber at all. If only there was some way to keep them all pinned in there. Alright, well, first, hang on. I, can't, I always say first off. Okay, that is still splat height, but... How much is it? If I stack at the bottom... Well, that's it. Well, I can't... I can't stack at the bottom because I need to keep them pinned in, and that stacker is the only way to do that. <laughs> Now we'll need the platformer and the stacker.
And now I'm like, well, if we turn them around and stack here, we'll be kind of then we can just bash our way out, but then how do we turn them around right from the get-go? Hmm, I was expecting this to be a lot simpler than I... At first I saw this, I'm like, I got this. Let's <laughs> hold my beer. I've got this. No, unfortunately I already don't, don't always have it. Hmm, sticky wicket, this one. What would Jesus do in this situation? Well, first off, he wouldn't be playing Lemmings. He'd be out there helping people. Get it together, Artie. Come on. So what we did there was... I felt like that was pretty clever. It's just... <sighs> they came out too fast after that. But I really like what we did. Let's make him a glider right out of the hatch. How about that? Like, what if we do something like this? Because that gives him a bit of a head start. Ah, oh, so close! Well, actually, wait. No, because I still need the basher to get him out. I'm like, wait, but we can bash and slow him down just enough. Oh, curses. And the worst part is I think I would be able to finish as well. No, I wouldn't. Still come out a little too fast. do something like this. Swat height for that guy, but not for everybody. Which then begs the question, if we bash, will that be enough time to slow his... No, it's not. Although that still wouldn't work out, because we'd still be left with these two too close together. Now here's an idea. If we bomb there, we can also get past the trap. So we could potentially have both a builder and a platformer to work with. Now that's interesting. That's too much. But we could turn them around with a stacker and get them all down here. The problem is then, how do we turn them around there? Oh, and here's an ah, uh, hmm. Here's something I hadn't thought about. 
what if we did the stacker plus the corner trick? Then they'd all be stuck in there. So if we did this, we'd need the basher to get them out. One builder is not going to be enough to cut that. We'd need the bomber plus the builder. It's so definitely an option I hadn't considered, though. Hmm. No one, hmm. If we could just not blow that guy up, though, that would be great. Because then we could blow them up there, or... So many options with just a few skills. That's lemmings in a nutshell for you. Actually, I don't think... No, we can't use the bomber there. It's too close to the edge. Okay, so bomber can't be used there. We know that. So bomber's almost certainly going to be have to be used to cut this platform. Okay, here's a thought. Let's clone the first lemon. And make this guy climb. Let's do that. Let's blow this guy up as soon as he leaves the hatch. Okay, I was gonna say then we can bash through a turn potentially all the lemmings around if they're all um, not at 99 release rate, but then we won't have a basher to free them down there, which is a very big problem. Yeah, and a single builder ain't gonna stop them from escaping. <sighs> I love it like this, it's very hard to narrow down what skills you need to use where. into the quicksand. Not what we want. Hmm. Let's crank up the release rate a little bit at the beginning, like to 60. This will give a little bit more leeway.
So there will be a bit more of a gap between them. So Hill would be able to get across. Ah, but the problem. I don't think there's enough of a gap there. Oh, there is! I don't know why, but that's the thing that happened. Okay, so that's the level. Another timing-based puzzle. Not a huge fan of that one. I don't know why it worked that time, but I did basically the same thing earlier, and it didn't work out. Because I understand why there would be a big gap, a bigger gap between the glider and the lemming behind the glider, but I don't understand why there would be a bigger glider between the lemming behind the glider and the lemming behind that one. Should have been the same amount, but I don't know. Anyhow, five more levels down, that's where we're going to uh, end that video for today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you for the next video. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.